Hey guys, it's Ollie from the Java Hub, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about basic collision detection with rectangles, and this can literally be achieved with less than 10 lines of code, and of those 10 lines, the majority is just us kind of creating the rectangles and drawing them. We actually only access one method to check if they've um, had a collision, but as you can see I've got my main course here, I'm not going to go through it because all of this is available on the uh, javahub.net slash forums in the source code section. So um, pause the video now and go and get this source code here and then come back and we'll begin. So hopefully you've got the source code in front of you now. Um, and first of all, we're going to be working entirely inside our paint component method. This tutorial and we're just going to create some rectangles except it's not the normal fill rectangle method we're going to create an actual object of a rectangle because this the class rectangle is where we get the method intersects which is the method that tells if they've had a collision so to begin I'm going to say rectangle r1 equals new rectangle and as you can see up here we've got um, an X and a Y for the rectangle and one rectangle will be controlling with the mouse as you can see here and one rectangle will just be stationary in the middle and we're gonna rectangle R1 is gonna be the one we move and R2 is gonna be a stationary one we'll just create another rectangle R2 equals new rectangle and now rectangle takes four parameters and these parameters are x, y, width, and height. So for R1, the one we'll be controlling, we're going to say rect x, rect y, and we'll make it 25 by 25. And for this, we're going to put it in the center, about 175, 75. Um, not really in the center, but whatever. And we'll make this one 50 by 50. And now that we've done this, we'll set the color and draw them. Set color, I'm just going to make this one blue. And then g dot set color, color dot red. And then after color dot blue, we're going to draw, we're going to say fill rectangle. And then for the parameters, we say r one dot x, r one dot y, r one dot width, and r one dot height. And what we've effectively done is we've created this rectangle here, and then we've drawn it to the screen just by accessing these variables here of like the new object we've made. So we'll do the exact same, I'm just going to copy and paste this, the exact same for R2 except change it to R2 instead of R1. And now we've done this, I'm just going to add repaint at the bottom here. If I run this now, you can see we have a red rectangle here and we're moving our blue one, and at the moment nothing happens, and I'm just going to move this one on top of this one so we can see the blue one over it like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to program the collision and this is literally one line of code and if there's a collision we're going to print something to the screen so we're going to say if r1 dot intersect and that is a built-in method of the rectangle class and then as a parameter it takes what does it, if it intersects with what and in our case we want to test if it intersects with rectangle 2 and then literally we can just add one line of code we can draw a string or something and we can say collision and we'll do it at the same we'll say 175 and 75 and now that that's done we can run and as you can see when there's a collision we can very clearly see that there's collision written up here and it's pretty much pixel perfect it detects exactly when the 
um, one of the objects intersects with the other one. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This was just another basic lesson on collision detection. And you can already see that this is a lot more useful than the one I showed you previously to detect whether it touches the edges or not, because this can actually dynamically update depending on where the object is. But that's it for this tutorial, guys. Please subscribe to the Java Hub. Also, check out the JavaHub.net and become as involved as you can with the network. We g it's growing rapidly, and hopefully, we can all be a part of it. So, if you go to the JavaHub.net, go to the forums, sign up on the forums, um, follow me on follow the Java Hub on Twitter if you're interested, and that's pretty much it. Guys, please subscribe, please visit the forums, etc, and I will see you guys next time.